versus some players who I'm assuring are equally as good. <laughs> wow, amazing. Not even sure this is a hand warmer. So for a minute, I, I wasn't sure because I saw him lunch stalling. Yeah, and, and you were like, he's, he's trying to like... grab it. <laughs> All right. So Fox's point in this matchup is that Fox is able to kill you really early because he's Fox. So if you're, wanting, you're playing against a Fox, what you want to do is grab Fox, throw him off stage, and gimp him. And then the person on your team generally is the goal is to keep Fox from dying. So Fox is really, really versatile in doubles because you can play uh, an aggressive role, you can play a defensive role, like support, kind of an uh, aggro kind of thing. And as long as he's like on stage and not getting gimped, he's, he's pretty good because it's Fox, right? So and how, then, you, hmm? how are you feeling about the uh, the green team's uh, team comp, you know, Zelda Diddy? I feel like it's a really weird team, but I know Diddy's super good in doubles because of the stage control and the amount of space he can occupy using his projectiles. And uh, Zelda being able to go from like one side of the stage to the other very quickly with her update. With the teleports? Yeah, yeah. It's definitely. We're gonna, probably going to see tons of teleports. Best move in the game. No lag on it. No, no, it's not. Unpunishable. No, but like... When uh, trying to, you know, get spaces, if, you know, your partner needs you to get to the uh, the edge right there, yeah. you can. Oh, it's Vortex Invent. I do know Vortex. Vortex is really good. I think Vortex got a game off of Malachi at Smash Underground. So, he's a really solid box. Just, just, just hanging out. Doing, practicing your dash nets in there. It's very important with Fox. Only neutral tool you have. Just running back and forth, the jumping only over and over. Not, not laser. No, not. just just snare. True. Are they doing nine stock time limit or nine nine? Is that, that, notice that? Is that what, yeah? Is that, is that supposed to happen? Okay, okay. no. I was like, why is it nine? That's not right. Probably a Pokemon. Yeah, I figured. What one's a great stage in this? Oh, let's go to this. Uh, generally, the rule of thumb, if you're Zelda getting wave shined by a fox, you have a bad teammate. You have so, a bad teammate. That is true. Especially Diddy with uh, multiple projectiles can just stop the fox. Can definitely just stop fox, yeah. Also, if you're getting up smashed by Zelda over and over again, you should probably just call for help. Just start screaming. Generally, the best rule of thumb. You see, the, the Diddy was smart while uh, the Zelda was up smashed from the fox. The Diddy was, you know, juggling. Uh, yeah, just generally trying to keep, let Zelda keep his punish going. That's kind of like the golden rule of teams is maintain stage control and distort the punish game as much as possible. If you can do that, you're generally going to win. You can see here, uh, you can see uh, Big Pancake fighting him with Fox doing bananas and trying to get to the center stage and then using that to convert. Nice uh, uh, down to the smash. Fun but fact about Zelda's, most of the time, if they do a forward smash, they're probably just going to forward smash again. That's just statistically completely unflawed logic. I mean, it's safe, obviously. The game's looking pretty even so far. Kind of have uh, high percents. Uh, we'll first stock. Ooh. JJ, ooh, that's side B. That's Meant a, that's a, such a great situation, right there. but the Sheik dropped it? Sheik, no, Sheik went in on a dash attack on the Zelda while Fox was doing shine up smash. Should have recognized the teammate, actually had the kill confirm off of that and stayed out. But uh, it's all right. We just reset to confirmed. back to but neutral. Uh, uh, we can't see the stream, so Fox is doing a bunch of up tilts, trying to get fight back center stage. Green team is sandwiched in between Diddy and the Zelda right now. Okay. Diddy is doing a quick gimp on Fox. Hopefully, he doesn't drop the edge guards. Sheik going out to save him, trying to put some off stage pressure back on hand. Some solid team combos there. Fox is off stage once again, using the Din's fire to cover ledge to make sure the side B doesn't go snap right to it. In order to snap in that situation, you have to go ridiculously low. Quick fair from Di uh, Sheik's gonna take the stock on Diddy right there, and we're back to a two stock situation with Sheik at a little bit higher percent. Zelda's kind of acting as a wall with those like really multi-hit moves that allow others like hold them in a second, and it kind of helps to keep. Your teammate allow it and keep your keto in their combo to make sure that they're not interrupting. Yeah. Ooh. All right. I thought that Sheik wasn't uh, about to, you know, help the Fox get back on the stage because I, I personally feel with that team comp, Fox is definitely the one with like the quicker kill move and things like that. Fox is definitely the aggressor. I feel like in this team yeah. comp, Fox can do both, but in Sheik, Sheik Fox, it should definitely be Fox doing all the aggro. Ooh. I'm not sure if the Fox can be taken here. I kind of agree with leaving Fox just because both of these characters are decently light, so they can get off the top. Really early. This is like kind of seems like an undo situation because it is two stocks, but you can be a champion here and just get everything. So yeah. it's really smart what it they're doing here. They're letting, crazy. yeah, they're letting Good go in and just do combos because Zelda has ridiculous combos on Fox if you can get a grab. 
But until you get that grab, you, it's kind of hard because Fox neutral is just so much better. Ooh, getting stuck in shine. <laughs> Day one Fox stuff, don't get stuck in shine. Well, it's kind of hard. You know, nice. Fox is a character, it's really hard to play. Ooh, that was. That must have been a good DI. <laughs> that was an off smash at like, what, 140? Yeah, around that. On Zelda. It also could have been like, probably like the. Uh, five or six frame part of the up smash, which is doesn't set up as high. You know what's funny? That was the second forward smash. Second forward smash. <laughs> I told you, it happens every time. Every time you forward smash, there's another one that's gonna come up. It's gonna go forward smash, forward smash. All right. Uh, so, uh, what are your predictions on the next stage? I don't know. I feel like that stage is better for uh, better for Venti and Vortex than it is for Bacon Pancakes and Good. To be honest, right? In my opinion, uh, so they can both like kill off the top pretty well. Like, Fox can definitely kill off the top pretty well. That's what he's known for, his kicks. <laughs> and Sheik just has a like, good room to space and zone. But, uh. What I would want is. Maybe a. St not a flat stage. If they go to a flat stage, I would. I don't know, I'd probably run it back. I'd maybe go to Smashville. Smashville might work better. If they're having trouble getting like platform confirms, then I'd go Smashville. But definitely not definitely not FD. Maybe Wario if they're feeling really confident in their punish games. Uh, not not like the one with like Dreamland or Delfinos. Cause then Zelda's gonna live longer and you obviously don't want to take Zelda to a huge stage. Yeah. Definitely not Fountain. Probably either one of the neutrals. Probably either of the three neutrals, probably Battlefield, Smashville, or Pokemon. I can see it. I back to Pokemon. Alright. Safe pick. Pokemon clearly the best stage in the game. As as proven here. That was actually really smart. Uh, Vortex just kinda tapped at his shield and forced a reaction. Because generally you expect like pressure. Yeah. Ooh, getting caught by the other match. Really smart by Goo there to take back center stage while they're going for the place well, teammate was going for the edge guard. This is insurance in case he doesn't get it, so we can actually still have some sort of advantage. I'm not sure if uh, the Diddy is trying to use the up B as a spike, but I've seen him go for two situations that kind of look like he's maybe. He's going for the spike? Yeah, like. I mean, it is it does on stream. I think it does allow, like, or bring itself to having a little bit more swag, a little bit more stylish play. I agree. Just forward tilting. The cheap, the cheap go to. I need to kill, I need to clear out the stock really quick. I'm going to go for forward tilt there. It's when fast, it, it works. Option, why not? Ooh, that kind of sucks. Didn't get anything off that up till. Slipping on banana peels. I, I feel like the only time tripping is ever acceptable in a competitive playing game is when you're slipping on a banana peel. Because it's just, it's it's classic comedy. Classic comedy. Classic comedy. Oh, using the... <laughs> the <laughs> Man, that was actually really good. Using the, uh, the puff hitbox of it to keep his teammate alive. On the box... That was impressive. The Fox kind of just let the Diddy have like an edge guard, uh, or a lot from the edge guard, and the Diddy kind of was just like, uh, the, is the Fox gonna attack? And he kind of <laughs> just stood there and let uh, the Sheik get back. Yeah, ah, but sometimes Zubble's a very chaotic game type. Not sure. I feel like you could have done something there. I'm not sure why Shino stalled. It was like, Ooh. oh my god, the spike of the side uh, I'm pretty sure. Is that a spike or a meteor? I think it's a meteor. I feel like that'd be silly if he had a, all that. Maybe that's why it's the best of the game. I don't Maybe. know. Just that reason, nothing else. Because that's uh, obviously the only reason this Forward Diddy smash ever again. gets that kill. Vortex messing up like drill shine pressure there. Goes again, it's drill into immediate roll. Missing so he could have gotten more out of that. Grab on cheap. <laughs> that's such a sad thing to watch. Didn't tech it. Well, okay, so. Now, now he got it. Once again, to plug the name of the tournament, uh, we tech those two. That's due by Easton Smash. Easton right? Smash, yeah. Uh, it's clearly didn't understand the name. I think you have to practice just checking things before you come here. Because it's, like, yeah. it's, it's in the name. Ooh, nice, uh, nice. Uh, and then a low side B. That's, that's unfortunate. That could be one of those things where it was a buffered side B, so it just kind of came out at yeah. the wrong time. Nice down smash. But, uh, Ooh, that edge guard turning around quick in Sheik's favor. Yeah, Sheik has very, very solid edge guards on Diddy. Like if you ever, if you want to go like learn how to do that, you can watch Dark versus Junebug. At the last, I think we tech those. Forward smash being caught by Dense Fire. Of course. 
great way to rack up some damage. Though. Inspire, yeah, you. Inspire is amazing. The thing about Inspire is it actually doesn't have a hitbox going out, only when it's placed. That's something a lot of people don't realize. And I just have a lone Zelda. Oh no, the series back. Sorry, what am I saying? For a second there was a lone Zelda. The game's pretty even. Uh, definitely a percent deficit. Diddy definitely a low percent, but uh, definitely doable. It's a quick Ooh. up smash. What they really need to do right now is get the Zelda, like, out, out of the equation. The Zelda's out of the equation, you win the game. Now, Fox can make this comeback because Zelda is an up smash. Never mind. It's over. That, it's over. Bad. Unless we're gonna quick, we're gonna switch real quick. We're gonna make it a uh, different game. We're gonna side B into up B. We're gonna add customs to Project M. It's gonna be amazing. A solid time. I, uh...